Hey everybody, I'm back with a haul video. I got a few books and Janet picked up some books. I surprised she found some really cool ones out there because sometimes you get nothing. Sometimes you go and you're like, I can't believe how many they have and do I really want to buy all of these? Because <laughs> you're like, uh, and, but you have a three day thing. If you like waiting for payday and you get some money saved up or something like that, if you give them to them, they'll hold them for three days for you. Um, at the, the at least the half price books I've been going to, that's what they tell you. So, so I've done it one time when I bought a whole bunch of, um, I think it was a bunch of Sonic comic books I bought years ago, and they held them for me for a few days until I made sure I got the money to get them. And I went back and bought all of them, and it was a lot. I, I did a video. If you ever check check uh, some of the videos that I have and some of my uh, collected uh, playlist, you'll see uh, Sonic Hall. It might be have a Sonic. It might be specifically Sonic Hall. I'm not sure, but I got a lot of Hall videos. So you can check that out. But okay, this this is a haul video of stuff I just picked up in the past uh, week. So I got another one of these. These are very cool comic books by um, David Finch. He did the he did the cover. Here's a uh, action comic books. I think it's what six nine it's eight ninety four. So that was a very cool book. As soon as I saw it, I, I grabbed it because it's just a pretty cover with a uh, death on there and everything from DC. So it says death in action. And I got a couple of uh, zombie books, too. This is Black Panther number 28, zombie collection. So, and let's see, what is this? These are wild covers when you look at the details on them. Here's number 29. You just look at the detail on some of these guys. It's like, wow. And here's number 30. <laughs> just everybody's decaying away. And then I got Darth Vader number one, which I had to order on mycomicshop.com, but then I found this out in the wild, and it's got it's a variant cover. And it's very nice. Chris Sprouse, Darth Vader number one. And then this was cool, it was signed. Grim Fairy Tales 2012 Halloween Special. It's got Dirk Manning. I think he's a colorist or letterer or something, or maybe artist somewhere, but his name is on here somewhere. No, Inker. No, wait, is it? No, it's Dirk. See, the way he did it, he's got his name signed on there. I always like the sign covers. That's that cover there. I'm not sure what he does in there. I'll have to find out. But I think that's my second book I got by him. This was cool. They had so many other books there, but I just I love this cover um, by Michael Turney, Turner. Identity Crisis number four of seven. Wonder Woman. This is a beautiful cover. This, I like these because it's holiday special. Paul Dini's Jingle Bell. Holiday special. Santa Claus versus Frankenstein. <laughs> That's cool. And then this one's the Joker number two. And very cool painted uh, punchline cover. Very pretty. Nice. Then I always get these when I see them. Justice League from the New 52 number one. I like these covers. Beautiful um, Jim Lee artwork. And this too, I remember seeing a bunch of these and I passed up on them because I wasn't sure whether I wanted it or not years ago. But every time I see them now, I pick them up. Kanan, the last pa Padawan, number three. Because I've seen like number one, two, three, four. I think it was like six or seven issues or something like that. I'm not sure how high it went. But um, when I see them now, I pick them up because I know they're valuable. But um, I remember the, the TV show and everything. But now this, they're just very cool looking covers. And there's one... The way they did it with, like, um, with the stormtroopers that were white with red and everything on them. Just really, really cool how they did them. Now, this is Mr. Miracle, The Making of a Legend. This is number one. Usually, I try to grab number ones when I see them from DC Comics. Then this was cool. Star Wars Mace Windu, Jedi of the Republic, number two. I couldn't find the other ones. This is number two. And I, got, I think I got number three or four. Here's number three. So, I thought that was cool. And then, number one again, The Power of Shazam, number one. Thought it was very cool, beautiful cover, so I grabbed it. Nice Jerry Ordway artwork. This was cool. I didn't see this before. Smallville Lantern, number one. Season 11 continues. I thought that was a very cool cover. I grabbed that one right up. Number one. Then I got us another uh, Todd McFarlane Spider-Man. This is number eight. Very cool. I like the cover. Then Star Wars, Darth Vader, and the last, the Lost Command. I always like these when I see these, so I grab them up. Attack positions, it says. This is number two. Then Janet loves this, so I grab these all the time. Every time I see them, Tank Girl, Gold, 
It's number one, cover A. She loves Tank Girl. This was cool. Uh, the Tick Blue, Big Blue De Destiny, number one. It's a trade paperback. So grab that. It's pretty thick. Go through it. And then I saw this was the number one, so I grabbed it. Uh, White Fox, number one. I didn't pick it up when it first came out. So I saw number one. I said I better grab it. Then I got um, Blackest Night Wonder Woman, number one. I always grab these as well. Artwork's real weird, the way her arm, his arm is grabbing. It's kind of weird. But I thought that was cool. I grabbed it. That's number one. Then I got number two. Versus Mira. Nice painting. Then this was a free comic book day book. The Inkow. Um, what is this? It says humanoids on the bottom. It's mature, I think. I flipped through it. I thought... I, I saw just a little bit of stuff in it that it wasn't really bad, but it's just um, the wording didn't look bad. But it maybe a few pictures and then some a little bit of nudity. But thought it was really cool, so I grabbed that one. They gave it to me, and this is R.I.P.D. and Killjoys, like a a flip book or two stories in one, a free comic book day as well. They gave this one to me as well. Very cool. So that's that. And then I'll show you the books that Janet picked up. Some of these I saw, some of these I didn't. She picked up some nice ones. This is Alien, uh, number one, variant edition. Very cool. And then this was cool. Uh, Dead, Deadpool Annual, number one. Uh, Madcap season and Deadpool season. <laughs> Just the way they... Kind of like Donald Duck and uh, Bugs Bunny. And then we got Domino, number one, Annual. Pretty cool. She likes Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn's Future State. This is number two. She liked the cover. Then she got Scream 1, 2, and 3. So this is one. Absolute Carnage uh, link tie in. That's one. Here's two. And number three. And then she found Symbiote of Vengeance. Second printing. Number one. Nice. And she found a number 16 of The Power of Shazam. Very cool. And she got a Starman number 16. She always, she's, she said she wants to try to find things that have specific things, like if it's Halloween, if it's Christmas, uh, and this one's about Father's Day, Fourth of July, anything like that that maybe has a representation of a holiday on it. She saw Father's Day, so she grabbed it. Sometimes they're valuable depending on what the story is. This was cool. I saw this and I didn't pick it up, but she liked it, so she grabbed it when she went out. Weapon Hex, number one, annual. Very cool. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Just a real short one today and everything. I'm going to try to do some more as, as I can, but I just wanted to let you know what I picked up a few uh, few times and what Janet got. But thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody had a good Merry Christmas and everything and looking forward to a Happy New Year. And everything so be safe and everything until then make it to the new year and everything uh and just enjoy your life and have fun you guys have a great day and collect to do is out